Hi everybody. It's very late and I can't sleep so I figured I'd put out a video. We all know how we love those vintage bags that everyone gets and I haven't gotten any and I'd love to cover up one of these tags from the Tim Holtz die. It's the tags and book tag and book plates with that bag to use with my um, dress form die by Tim Holtz but I don't have those paper bags so I figured I'd make my own and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it I'm, I use stamped images from Oxford impressions and that is dress forms and corsetry and I'm using newsprint and I love stamping on newsprint it's so much fun I used vintage photo because I was too lazy to tear them out and then do the edges, so I just put vintage photo all over around the images. And what you're going to want to do is just rip them out. And it doesn't matter if you accidentally rip part of the image. Just rip as close to the image as you can. This is probably as boring as watching glue dry, but I figured I'd share this because it leaves a cool effect. I'm also going to be using matte gel medium. By Liquitex. And I'm standing up and my lower back is killing me ever since I gained the weight. It's horrible. My knees hurt, my neck hurts, and that's why I'm not sleeping. Everything hurts. I love this stamp set. If you want to um, purchase a stamp set, you can go to www.etsy.com backslash shop backslash um, Oxford Impressions. And it'll take you to the Etsy store, and you have to buy the um, the cling mounting because her stamps are not mounted. Okay, just rip out a couple more here. I don't know why I never got the vintage bags, but oh well. They are pretty, though, that's for sure. So I probably should have tore this stuff out before I started my video. Sorry, guys. If you're bored and awake like me, you won't mind. Okay. Put that aside, and I got wax paper down so I don't make too much of a mess. And I'm just going to randomly put these images on here and I got to sit down. My back hurts too much. Ugh. Make sure when you use the gel medium, you dedicate one brush to it because gel medium, if it gets in the ferrule of your brush, it does this to it. So you don't want to ruin your brushes. And again, this is matte gel medium by Liquitex. Oh my God, I can't get comfortable. Being in pain all the time really is horrible. All right, so I'm going to start laying down these images, and I'm going to start with one of the dress forms. I'm just putting matte gel medium on the back. And you can put the gel medium right onto your chipboard if you want to, but it might get bubbly if you got blobs of the gel medium on there. And I'm not worried about going over the sides. I'm going to put gel medium on top. And the newsprint is so nice and thin. You can also do this with the, um, if you want to run it through your cuddle bug or your big shot after you're done, make sure to use a thin chipboard or else you'll end up breaking your machine because, yeah, you can run medium weight chipboard through those two machines, but with the extra layer, just this little bit, you'll end up ruining your machine. So don't run it through with the medium chipboard. I'm 
And I'm just randomly placing this on here. I can get it. It's all soggy. And I don't worry about covering up the hole up here either because I'll use my big bite for the hole. I hope I'm in camera. Yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> I had a problem with that lately. Let's see, I don't think I cut out enough images, but we'll just go with it. I love getting ooey and gooey. I think I'm going to put this one up this way. I feel like a little kid playing with um, paste. I guess I did enough. And I'm not worried about covering other things up. And I'll do this up this way. I totally covered up my corset. But that's okay. And it's better to ink the edges after you rip your paper. It gives it a better look, but... I said I'm tired and I'm too lazy. I just can't sleep because I'm in too much pain tonight. I don't wish pain on anybody. All right, let me cover up my gel medium. Make sure I don't have any blobs on top here. Put your brush in water right away. I'm going to dry this. And I don't have fast forward on my program that I use. I'll show you the program I use. If anybody else uses this, let me know. It's the um, Vegas Movie Studio HD. I don't seem to be able to do too much with it. I can't even fast forward through parts of my video when I edit it. Not that I know of anyway. And it was $50. So let me know if you have that. I find it useless personally. I asked the guy at Best Buy. It was either between that and another one. The other one was more expensive. It was normally $99.99 on sale for um, $69.99. And I asked him which one was better, and he said this one was better. He said the other one has so many things on it you'll never use, and I bet you I could have used a lot of it. This doesn't take too long to dry. Just flip it around and dry the back. That way when you cut the edges that are hanging off. You're not going to get your scissors all icky. And I use archival ink when I stamp the images. You just got to let it dry a little bit before you put your gel medium on or it'll bleed a little bit. Okay. And don't worry about it if you didn't cover up all of your chipboard. Because you won't even see that. Just cut the edges that are hanging off. My coordination is bad too. I'm like an old person complaining about my house to the doctor. <laughs> okay. So, so far you have this, and then what I like to do, let me grab some, right back. 
I'm grabbing some gesso. I always shake it. I don't know why. And I'm just putting my finger over the hole and just grabbing a little bit. And just rubbing it over some areas. Just keep rubbing it in. You don't want to make it so thick where you don't see your image kind of rubbing it around where the tear marks are and just to kind of bring it all together here you can add it to the outside edges too if you'd like And I'm going to use it to cover up my chipboard. Ah, got too much on my finger. I'm in frame. Yeah, I am. You know, so cover up the chipboard if you if you have any showing. And I'm just going to put a little bit more. And I'm just going to cover up the stamp just a little bit here. And a little bit up here. And then you're going to dry that. Gesso dries really fast. So you'll have something that looks like this. And now you're saying, what the heck did she do? All right, then you're going to go back in with your vintage photo. And since you put the gel medium on top of the um, image... This is going to adhere nicely to where the gesso is. It just makes it look older. And kind of mutes out the stamped images so they're not so crisp. And it makes it look old. But so remember when you put the gesso on, you don't want to totally cover up make it too thick to cover up your images and you can't even tell where my chipboard is showing because I put the gel medium on there I mean the um the gesso let me get the glare off of here you still see the glare I don't know if you can see it better from down there and then what I like to do is take stamp and I'm taking one from Oxford Impressions actually I'm going to do two I do two. Actually, I'm going to do three. Ugh. I know there's another. Let me use this one, this one, and this one. Actually, I'm going to put this one here, this one here. I'll put this one up here. Oh, my back is killing me. Okay, I'm going to stop complaining now. All right, I'm using my archival ink. This looks much better in person. There's such a glare on it, and you can still see. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let me put this here. Just, I need a baby wipe to wipe my stamp. You know, almost gives it a dimensional effect. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on the, the camera. But with everything else faded out in the background and that on top, and it gives it a really cool effect. And you'll just have to try it at home and check it out.
And I'm using natural baby wipes on my stamps. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but I'm sure you guys can get a lot more creative with it. Oh, my back is hurting me so bad. So this is it, and you can see the images in the background. It does look much better in person. But with everything muted and then the nice crisp, crisp stamped images on top, it is dimensional. So thanks for watching, and i got to do one more thing. Oh, I can barely stand up, guys. Put a hole in here. There we go. And that's it. So have fun playing, getting all goopy. And hope everybody has a nice day tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.